Either the interwebs is all messed up and Rumble doesn't have a salty cracker, not even uh, YouTube. I've already uploaded a couple videos of YouTube. Uh, if you're here, I am the Salty Alaskan Rambo. I am on Rumble. One Salty Alaskan Rambo. Salty Crackers uh, obviously have problems, or we're just having fucking shit happen here in Alaska Town, uh, AT and T, GCI, all the other places, and they're like, "Oh, we got these little, these little downed areas," you know. It's like, "Hey, did someone cut a fiber cable?" It's like bull fucking shit, man. Do you think we're gonna buy this shit? We're gonna fucking do all this? I'm not even angry about it. It's just, it's bullshit. Because everyone pays so fucking much money for their phone services and all this shit. And then, oh, you're not going to be able to make a phone call with all these, uh, this fucking nonsense of these cell phones and everything. It's like when BlackBerry came out, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? No, we got, we got real shit over here. It's called Rosemary. We got Lavender down in the, the, the lower part here. I'm I'm over here cooking fucking potatoes over the wood stove to make mashed tater, fresh rosemary. Thank you, mother-in-law, for sending us that from Oregon. That was awesome. You got the wood stove going on over here. You know, it's been a rainy day. Just having a good old fucking time. Don't don't mind that 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 uh, head down. You know that that just what happens sometimes. You know when when uh, you know weather's bad and you you go head down. A little bit of wind, a little bit of fucking shit. But you know what? You you're gonna survive, right? Or you're just gonna fucking lay down and just die. That's a question anymore. That's a real motherfucking question in this country of America. You know, I'm up here in Alaska and shit. And I see all these motherfuckers all my life just fucking roll up in here and fuck everything up. And and then try and regulate us and give us property taxes and all this shit and whatnot. It's like the Kenai Peninsula is all about stealing fucking land from everybody ever since the Kenai Peninsula borough was established. It's fucking insane. Evil fucking people exist. And when you know there's evil fucking people that fuck with kids and fuck with everyone and fuck with people, regardless, like one of my buddies, all the fucking set, my set netting friends, all the ones that go out and, and, you know, actually feed their families and go crabbing and fucking gone all the fucking time away from their families. You don't think that we're a little motherfucker? You better get the fuck pissed off. You better fucking get pissed off. Fuck these motherfuckers while they have drag queen shows in our fucking Soldatna Creek Park a couple years ago. And then, oh, some of them are afraid to show up for the fucking city council meetings every fucking other Wednesday. Every day ends in why. Why the fuck are you sitting on your shoulders? Pull your head out of your fucking ass and get something fucking done with the rest of us because this shit is fucking nonsense. What the fuck, America? What the fuck, Alaska? You want to be claiming Alaska? Oh, well, I was born and raised here. Yeah, on the Kenai Peninsula, fucking Alaska's playground and all this shit. It's like, I live here too. I fucking came down here as a kid. Now I fucking have lived here 30 fucking years. And the, I I know the based fucking people. I know the fucking kids that I went to high school with. And graduated with and partied with and fucking had bonfires with and fucking been fishing with. And I know the hard motherfuckers. I'm talking about the rest of you little fucking limp wristed little chicken leg fucking bird bone little pussies out there. With your pterodactyl fucking mouths. And shit off. <laughs> About everything. You little fucking whiny little fucking cunt pussy ass motherfuckers. What the fuck? 
You think I want to shoot your dog? That's a fucking piece of shit. No, I'd rather fucking take you homeowners out that fucking got all these kids that you're indoctrinating and all this fucking shit. I'd rather take you parents and all you fucking dog owners and pet owners and shit that have asshole animals. I want to take you out and fucking beat the bricks off your motherfucking shit. Because you don't have no foundation here. You don't have no establishment. This is fucking nonsense and bullshit. And everyone better get on fucking board with reality. Because don't you dare come to my motherfucking house where I fucking feed everyone and, and send people home with real good shit and whatnot. It, fucking none of this MSG fucking fake ass shit and all this crap and all this nonsense. No. I'll take care of people that are on my side and by my side and got my 6 and got my 12 and got my 3 and got my 9 and got my 10, 11, 3, 4, 6 and 7, 8. 1 and 2. It's not that far few in between. There's a lot of good people out there. That I, that I don't have very much respect for, even though they should be respected and they should have respect. But they're not standing up against these fucking taxes and all this shit. I've never agreed with any of this stuff in my life. I don't vote because who is there to fucking vote for? And Trump is not a fucking idol of mine. I don't idolize fucking anybody. I practice self-fucking governance and I suggest that everyone else do the same fucking thing. And get the fuck along. Because you're going to be in a really fucking hard spot. Like we already are in. If you don't bring nothing to the table. And my table is filled. My round ass table. My middle name is Arthur. And it is filled with good fucking people. And it is a circle. It's not some hard stop or fucking full stop or any of this shit. It is fucking like people that like fucking gardening, that like ranching, like farming, and are family and friendly. And they have no problem defending what's right. And I suggest everyone else wake the fuck up and you better start defending what's right because you don't want to be on the wrong side of fucking history because this is coming. And it is an interesting and very serious time to be alive for all real people out there. Don't be a fucking sheeple. Get up your fucking governor's asses out there. You tell them to quit spraying your fucking skies. You tell them to quit fucking uh, enough of the tyranny. Enough of this nonsense. Like I said, I practice self-governance. I don't need a government. I don't need anyone to tell me what's right and wrong. We already fucking know. Stay salty. It's your salty Alaskan Rambo out.